Dear viewers, I welcome you all to today's series of uh, the Nicrae's Reflection. Today being the third Sunday of Easter, ye be, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God the Father, our Creator, you interact with the world during creation. You interacted with humanity during redemption. And you continue to interact with us through the power and working of the Holy Spirit. We praise and thank you for the gift of life and for your mercy upon us. We approach your throne of grace, asking you to continue to illuminate us by the power of the Holy Spirit, that we may become through witnesses to the gospel message. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Beloved friends in Christ, uh, today we also look at the interaction between God and humanity, which is a continuous journey of our life. In the Gospel reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, we discover the two disciples who had an encounter, an interaction with Jesus on their way to Emmaus, came back to testify to, to the other disciples who were locked up in the upper room. They presented their testimony, telling the disciples that they recognized him through the breaking of the bread. In Jesus, to concretize this interaction and testimony, he appeared to them. The troubled disciples who were worried, and he said to them, Peace be with you. He knew they were startled. They were confused. They were worried. In their troubled heart, he said to them, Peace be with you. And he continued to interact with them, telling them to believe in the message that a spirit has no body. So they should watch, see, testify, come close and have a better interaction. And this interaction remains a continuous interaction in our own life. Understanding the interaction gives us the ability to move into the world to become witnesses. And this is what we discover in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3. St. Peter, standing boldly in front of the crowd, telling them about the testimony of the good news. We also discover this in the second reading from the, letter, the first letter of St. John, chapter 2, testifying to the goodness of the Lord and to, to this interaction with God. Dear friends in Christ, what do we draw from these uh, lessons? And we discover that the, the whole message, the summary of the message of salvation is the message of repentance, forgiveness, salvation of humanity. Then we are all invited to come and interact with God. But how do we interact with God? Every day of our life, we interact with Jesus through his word. At the celebration of the Eucharist, when we hear the word of God, we interact with him. We interact with Jesus through the breaking of the bread every day at Mass. We are being invited to open up our hearts for this continuous conversation and this continuous interaction, that we may have the ability to become true witnesses of the gospel. And to become true witnesses of the gospel, we need to listen, we need to recognize, and we need to have the ability to believe in his love. And having the ability to believe in his love, we also have the courage to go out of our shell, out of our fear, out of our startled hearts, to the world to proclaim the good news. And by doing so, we may be able to recognize those who are weak among us, those who are vulnerable, those who have been sidelined by the society. And in this continuous interaction, we may find ourselves at the end, all in the kingdom of God. May God give us the grace to recognize Jesus, to be through witnesses, to expand this interaction to the world, that the world may know peace through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Oh,